Welcome back to True Lines, the podcast where we delve into the wit and wisdom of the great American author, Mark Twain. This is our fourth episode, and we're excited to continue our journey through Twain's insightful and thought-provoking quotes. If you haven't listened to our previous episodes, be sure to check them out. Now, let's jump into the first three quotes for this episode. Our first quote touches on the value of travel and its impact on our perspectives. Travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness, and many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's lifetime. Mark Twain believed that travel has the power to break down the barriers of prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. By experiencing different cultures, traditions, and ways of life, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the world and the people in it. Travel allows us to develop empathy, compassion, and a more open-minded perspective. Twain's quote is a reminder that we should strive to expand our horizons and embrace new experiences as they can enrich our lives and help us to become more tolerant and understanding individuals. Next, we have a quote that reveals the hidden complexities of human nature. Everyone is a moon and has a dark side which he never shows to anybody. In this quote, Mark Twain uses the metaphor of the moon to illustrate that everyone has a hidden side that they keep private. Just as the moon only shows one side to the earth, we too often only reveal certain aspects of ourselves to others. Twain's quote is a reminder that people are complex and multidimensional, and that we should be mindful of the fact that there is often more to someone than meets the eye. It encourages us to approach others with empathy and understanding, recognizing that we all have hidden depths and vulnerabilities. Our third quote for this episode discusses the influence of appearance on our perception of others. Clothes make the man. Naked people have little or no influence on society. Mark Twain humorously points out the importance of appearance in shaping our perceptions of others and their influence on society. The way we dress and present ourselves can have a significant impact on how we are perceived by others and the opportunities that are available to us. Twain's quote serves as a reminder that, while it is important to focus on our inner qualities and values, it is also important to recognize the role that appearance can play in shaping our interactions with others and our place in society. Our next quote for this episode sheds light on the importance of keeping our imagination in check. You can't depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. Twain reminds us that our perception of reality can be influenced by our imagination. When our imagination is out of focus, it can distort the way we see things, leading us to misinterpret situations or miss important details. This quote encourages us to maintain a balance between our imaginative and perceptive faculties. By keeping our imagination in focus, we can better rely on our observations and make more informed decisions. The next quote highlights a key difference between humans and dogs. If you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. This is the principal difference between a dog and man. Through this quote, Mark Twain suggests that dogs are more loyal and grateful than humans. A dog, once rescued and cared for, will remain loyal to its benefactor. In contrast, humans may not always show gratitude or loyalty to those who help them. Twain's quote serves as a reminder to appreciate the loyalty and unconditional love that animals can provide, and to reflect on the importance of gratitude and loyalty in our own lives. Our third quote for this segment touches on the reliability of information from the media. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you're misinformed. Mark Twain believed that newspapers could be a source of both information and misinformation. This quote reflects his skepticism about the reliability of news sources, suggesting that whether one reads the newspaper or not, they might still be ill-informed. Twain's quote is a reminder to approach the information we consume with a critical eye, questioning the accuracy and reliability of news sources, and seeking multiple perspectives to form a well-rounded understanding of the world. 
Our next quote for this segment is about doing what's right. Always do what is right. It will gratify half of mankind and astound the other. Twain encourages us to stand by our convictions and always choose the right path. By doing what's right, we will not only please those who share our values, but also surprise those who might not expect such integrity. This quote reminds us of the importance of remaining true to our principles, even if it means going against the grain. The next quote explores the nature of courage. Courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Twain defines courage not as the absence of fear, but as the ability to confront and master it. It is a reminder that bravery doesn't mean being fearless, instead, it means acknowledging our fears and choosing to act despite them. This quote can inspire us to face our fears head-on and to not let them control our actions. Our third quote highlights the universal power of kindness. Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Mark Twain emphasizes that kindness transcends spoken language, physical disabilities, and cultural differences, acting as a bridge that connects us all. The metaphor comparing kindness to a language highlights its capacity to convey emotions, thoughts, and intentions through gestures, actions, or facial expressions. Kindness does not rely on words or physical senses, making it accessible to all individuals, regardless of their abilities or backgrounds. The deaf can understand kindness through actions and expressions, while the blind perceive it through touch, tone, or presence. This demonstrates that kindness transcends sensory limitations, becoming a universal language that can be experienced by all. Kindness also underscores the importance of empathy, requiring us to step outside of our own worldviews and connect with others on a deeper level. By practicing kindness, we acknowledge the inherent value of each person, regardless of their circumstances. The notion that kindness is universally understood highlights its potential to bridge cultural divides. It transcends barriers, allowing individuals from diverse backgrounds to connect and find common ground, fostering understanding, tolerance, and respect among people from all walks of life. In conclusion, Mark Twain's quote captures the essence of kindness as a universal means of communication. By embracing the language of kindness, we can foster empathy, understanding, and unity in our diverse and interconnected world. Kindness creates a ripple effect, inspiring others to pay it forward and perpetuating a cycle of compassion and goodwill. The final quote of this episode delves into the value of friendship. The trouble is not in dying for a friend, but in finding a friend worth dying for. This poignant quote by Mark Twain highlights the rarity of discovering a truly genuine, unwavering friendship. It emphasizes the emotional struggle to find a soul-stirring bond, where one would willingly make the ultimate sacrifice. The quote captures the profound yearning for a connection that transcends superficial relationships and evokes the bittersweet realization that such deep, selfless love is a precious and elusive treasure in our lives. That concludes episode 4 of True Lines. We hope you enjoyed these quotes from Mark Twain and the insights they can provide. If you like our podcast, please subscribe and leave a review to help others discover the wit and wisdom of Mark Twain. Join us again for episode 5 as we continue our journey through the remarkable mind of this American literary icon. Until next time.